Hey, my buddy Justin, he challenged me to pick five awesome bullish setups from the possible stocks reporting earnings this week. You know what? I came up with five plus two bonus that are my favorite setups in the market right now. And then I have this one that I'm going to talk about right at the end of the video that has set up for a potential explosive move higher. Now, it's a little bit riskier, so we'll get into it. All right, moving on. To start this challenge up, I went to Yahoo Finance and pulled up 292 companies that are reporting earnings this week. That was a mighty big list. I was like, whoo, that's a lot. Then I popped over to Twitter, checked out Earnings Whispers, and they have a list of the most anticipated earnings of the week. So most anticipated. Now they had a convenient list of 43 that they listed out the tickers, and they also produced this awesome graphic right here showing the logos for the companies. I pulled this into TradingView, and I picked out five picks that I thought had a bullish setup. Let's go through them. First up, we have Nordson Corporation. That's November, Delta, Sierra, November. That one topped out back in December around the 10th and then dropped through June 21st. Had a nice strong move up off those lows and found resistance at the 6.8 Fib level around 243. It may see a negative reaction from earnings, so this may not be the most bullish setup that I have, but if it breaks higher on earnings, I think we could see a quick rally up to the 270 level. That makes the first bullish pick of the week. The next two, are gonna be plays on this less than stellar economy we've had. I mean, we're staring down the barrel of a third quarter of negative GDP here. What kind of companies do well in that kind of environment? Well, dollar store companies. So the first pick announced in earnings this week is Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree on the last earnings, well, right before earnings, we saw this big drop and then they announced earnings and we saw this nice recovery and we've been consolidating under the prior high for this whole time here. Dollar Tree has this potential for a breakout that can see us reach the 1272 extension around 190. Next up on the list is Dollar General. Now following on the with the dollar stores, you know, and them doing a little better in this recessionary environment, so a similar drop at that prior earnings period, and then a similar recovery, and it's been consolidating a little higher on the FIB ladder, been consolidating above the 786 FIB level around 245. I think a breakout higher than the prior high at 262 can see this thing reach the 1272 extension level right at 283. Another segment of the economy that does really well in a recessionary environment is auto parts. And we have Advanced Auto Parts, AAP, Alpha Alpha Papa, announcing earnings this week. Now, Advanced Auto Parts is kind of followed along the broader market, the S&P 500, topping out somewhere around January, downtrend all the way through the June lows, Right up through that six, right, right up to the 6.8 resistance at 213. Now on this earnings, we can see a breakout higher, a run right up to the prior highs at 244. A breakout above that you can see this run right out to the 1272 extension at the 266 level for advanced auto parts. Quite a bullish setup. Now the next one on my list is Intuit. You might be saying Intuit, what the? F this one has not followed the broader market. It's followed more of the tech pattern that topped out back in November and then had a nice big downtrend through May, bottomed out, and it's actually been leading the market higher until it rallied right up through my roadmap line, which if you're not familiar with the roadmap line, I'm gonna put a card right up here where you can go find out more information about it. Well, and then the last few days, it has pulled back and found support right back at my roadmap line. This is one of my favorite setups right here. We can see a bounce off this roadmap line and a rally right up to the 6.8 level, right up here around 574. Now, speaking about that roadmap line setup being my, one of my favorite setups, well, my two bonus picks right here, while not immediately bullish, they actually need a pullback, find support at that roadmap line, and then launch off to really get the potential move higher. So the first one I have is Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's found support in May and has been rallying strong and right up through the roadmap line and then found resistance at that 618 fib up there around 1550. Now, what I wanna see is Dix to pull back, find support at the roadmap line, and that really sets it up for a power move higher all the way out to the 1272 extension at 169. Now, following along, right on that same kind of setup, the next pick is William Sonoma, WSM, Whiskey Sierra Mike. Following on that same pattern that Dix had, 
We bottomed out in May. We had a strong rally right up through the roadmap line, finding resistance just like Dix at the 6.8 level, up there around 177. Now, a pullback to the roadmap line sets up Williams Sonoma for a strong rally to 220 level, and then a potential breakout higher, an extension to the 1272 level at 257. Now, I mentioned in the beginning that I had a special setup that while it's not really bullish, it might be kind of bearish, it has extreme potential to launch off very, very quickly. This special opportunity has not been following along with the broader market. In fact, it's been rallying right up through April in the face of a market correction. And then we got a quick swift pullback into May and found some support right when it announced earnings last time. This pick would be Palto Alto Networks, P-A-N-W, Papa Alpha November Whiskey. Now, for the past three months after that last earnings, it's consolidated, finding resistance to move higher right at that 50% Fib retracement with a series of higher lows. This pattern has an explosive potential. It's one of my watermelon seed squeeze plays where we can see this thing pop, and I mean pop seriously higher really fast and earnings could be the catalyst for it. We can see Palto Alto Networks quickly return to the prior high around 640 and if we see a breakout higher than that, see a quick move up to $700 at that 1272 fib extension. So those are my thoughts on the earnings coming up this week. Those are my picks. If you have thoughts on these picks or some other picks for earnings this week, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you about it. And remember to smash that like button if you liked anything I had to say today. Now, if you want to get updates on other videos I do, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, turn on all notifications. That way you get updates on these plays and any other plays and other stuff I do. And remember, I go live on Tuesdays on YouTube. So check it out. Click on this video right over here for more information on the roadmap line. And I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.